Well, things are heating up. We were given context for my position in the entire relationship within the family. Certainly get a glimpse at why I get all those nasty looks every time I come in, considering there's a very distinct... What is happening right here? Something's happening right there. Huh. Oh, yeah, we're in a new chapter, so just stuff's just kind of cropped up here and there. I guess I'll have to take a look. Uh, but yeah, we were there to investigate a particular character and find out what their ch uh, character change w was, which... Looks like they got nishkied, basically, <laughs> and have gone through like, I don't even recognize him anymore, has it been a whole year? Uh, but it, more specifically, we learn about the history of myself, and the, the primary villain right now, and our ally, and our, like, patriarchal character. And how that dynamic works, and what I did that earned the trust and loyalty in particular of, the, of uh, my companion character, but also, like... What what specific the, the the dynamics were of him being expelled, and the way that I made myself their enemy a bit while in the process. But also, I saved his pinky. Hmm? What is that? Some weird bird? No, that was a wig. <laughs> Follow that weird thing. Do -do 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 -do. That, that was a weird moment. That was definitely a wig flying through the air. Mm. What is this? That's mine. Mm hmm. Hmm. Wait, you're coming from the wrong. Ow! That was a bad sound. <laughs> that is the most easily carried on the wind wig ever. And also, he came from, like, the wrong direction, unless it's been going back and forth for a while, because it's, it's... It just took right off. Oh. Wait! Gone with the breeze. What the fuck? Ouch! Uh, uh oh, shit! Not now. Hey. You okay, man? I think I sprained my ankle. But more importantly, my hat. Hat. That was most certainly a wig. I'm sorry, but you have to go after her, please. Okay. Say what? It's an emergency. I don't know what I'd do without it. I'll pay you. Come on. Help a brother out. Uh, fine. I feel like the drone is going to be necessary, right? Like it's going to fly up on a building. Wait, we're chasing- Oh, we're chasing it. What in the world? Look at it go. I was not expecting this to be a chase a chase mission at all. I'm already out of the way, dude. Calm down quick to my vent. That. Where's my quick to my vent for that? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get that hat, question mark. Come on. Choto Mate. That thing is cruising. <clears throat> Don't fail me now. That was... a mission. <laughs> you know what, I'll just take it for the easy completion point that it is. Phew. Finally got it. Ah, <sighs> sorry. It was a really fast hat. That was pretty crazy, man. Here. Thank you. Uh... Aren't you gonna wear it? Nah, I can't put it on when anyone's watching. Which brings me to my next point. Do I look familiar to you? Now that you mention it, I do feel like I recognize you. 
Uh, I guess you'll find out when you turn on your TV. You mind letting me explain real quick? Sure. We better hide in a covert location. No one's looking, right? Not that I can tell. All right, here goes. That one was rather mischievous, eh? I feel downright teased. Perhaps my old friend the wind got jealous of how much sunlight I've been taking in lately. What a cad. Why is he suddenly acting like a different person? Oh, what a heel I have been. I should introduce myself. I'm Toya Tokunaga, the idol. Huh? You're an idol. Oh, don't you know me? Here, I was thinking I was famous. <laughs> if rumors are to be believed, Toya Tokunaga is the fire behind a certain subset of every woman's desire. Uh, oh. So I see. So, who might you be? You've got a mean spirit. I'm Yagami. I run a private eye business in Kamurocho. Well, I do apologize for taking you into such a place as this, Yagami-san. My plate, my face is such a well-known commodity, I can't let people see me like this. I guess that's understandable. But I do have a favor to ask. Can you keep the hat a secret? Toyotoku Naka is a singing and dancing idol with silky smooth hair that flits about in the breeze. If people were to find out my silky locks were just a hat, it's fine. Your secret's safe with me. Why do you keep calling it a hat, though? Thanks for your cooperation, man. This is a token of my gratitude. No, not hush money or anything. Anyway, I'm due for taping right now. Shall we meet? Uh, we shall meet again. Through the magic of TV! Even though I haven't noticed you until now. Okay, bye. Why do you call it a hat, though? He came in like a gale and left like a breeze. And his career is going to have a really interesting moment the next time he's in any wind ever. I feel like that's kind of going to be a hard thing to keep avoiding the way that he seems to have so far, but surely can't continue to, right? Everything's going over here. What? Smoking buddy. Smoking buddy. <laughs> I can't find the door. I thought it was I thought it was going to slide open. Yagami -san. <clears throat> oh, it's Yasuke. Yagami-san. Head over to the apple pie on Tenkaichi Street. Please ask for Madoka when you get there. And don't worry, I'll foot the bill. Alright, I'll head on over. Alright. Just sort of another iteration of that moment. Am I, I'm not done with you yet, am I? Yo. Hey, Sakumachi-san. I've got an aching for some baking. Well, you're in for a treat, because I just put the finishing touches on a special new dessert. And what would that be? It is the one and only Mega Fruit Tart. Not just any fruit tart, but a Mega Fruit Tart. I like it. Yep. We start by using a heaping helping of only the freshest fruits available, so it looks and tastes terrific. And then we fish it off with the sumptuous helping of sweet but slightly tart custard. Is your mouth watering yet? Oh yeah, I can feel my sweet tooth tingling and its nerve ending as we speak. That's a... Uh, your time for you to go to the doctor. I mean, the dentist. If it wasn't for all your constructive criticism, I doubt I could have had such a created such a masterpiece. So thank you, and sorry about the root canal. Yes, I need to have I need more city reps so I can get the last of the twisted trio, which I, I can't even guess what they're gonna follow ass catch him with. <laughs> nah, all I did was eat. You put it all. You put all. You put in all the hard work. Well, I hope you enjoy the fruits of our labor. The mega fruit tarts, that is. Soon I will be rid of the many, many shopkeeper friendships. And we can go on to see what else they have in store for side cases. Well, something's right here, apparently. Oh. Oh, it's a street performer quest. Yay.
美浜さな夢の途中でしたご清聴ありがとうございましたウォーゴーサナちゃんアメイジングエゾウエサナちゃん Yeah, it's like I could feel your thoughts emanating into the deepest parts of my soul. <laughs> Nothing brightens up my day like a sweet serenade from Sanachan. Ota san, Kitamura san, Sunawatari san, thank you all so much. Oh, yeah, I'll be purchasing your CD too. Me too, actually. I'll take two. Then I'll take three. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Thank you, everyone. She's got a whole CD out, huh? Oh no, the guitar had vanished. Her career is over. Oh, were you listening too? Thanks, newcomer. Should I buy her CD for 1500 yen? Sure. I have a monstrous amount of money. Can I get one as well? Sure. I'm glad he liked us that much. I could afford 300 of these. Obtained evidence. Okay. I'll bite. Is she gonna get murdered like right now in front of us? Anytime you want to hear more, I'll be sing here singing my heart out. Hope to see you around. Amidst a dream. What in the world? Is this actually the preemptive setup for a case? Or... Is that just the only way he knows how to contextualize things progressing in his life? It must always be evidence that there's some kind of case. Because normal people, when they hear that it's a case, I'm like, is she going to die right in front of me? Who could, who could have motivation to kill Sanachan? I guess we'll never know. Uh. Hey guys. We. We. He died off camera. I want to ride my bicycle. Hey, they're both here. Ah, if it, if it isn't Yagami-san, the sandwich shop sleuth. Good to see you, Inose-san. You too, Furuya-san. Thank you again for your help. Come to think of it, this is the first time all three of us have, been, have met together. It is, isn't it? So how's that collaboration coming along? Well, thanks to you and Furuya-san, Wet Kitchen agreed to be our partner in this project. <laughs> and even though our campaign just started today, it's already bringing in the big bucks. That's great to hear. On top of that, thanks to the increase in profits, my boss has decided they won't be closing down the store. Now I won't have any more nightmares about getting fired or getting my face dunked in the deep fryer. I'm glad you can finally work without buckling under the that pressure. Good for you. I owe it all to your valiant efforts, Yagami-san. I don't know how I can possibly repay you. Money. <laughs> <laughs> ah, don't mention it. I was just doing my thing. Being the video game protagonist. Well, j just know your contribution was vital to our success, Yagami-san. We really couldn't have done it without you. And you're good too, Furuya-san? Oh yes, thank you so much for your thoughtful advice. And for including me in such a well thought out campaign. All of us at Wet Kitchen appreciate your help. Both restaurants benefit so much by working together. Take, for instance, the fact that our company had previously put an emphasis on sales alone, but by learning from a similar chain like Wild Jackson, we were able to gain more insight into our overall outlook. We want to follow Wild Jackson's example of being loyal to their main product, namely their fantastic fried chicken. Pretty soon, our negotiation became an, op an open discussion about developing our strengths and reaching our full potential. After listening to Furoya-san's thoughts, we started to tackle tough problems and solve them the wet kitchen away. Both of our companies are very grateful to you, Yagami-san. Double progress! Ah, all I did was put two and two together, and look what happened. 
restaurant history in the making. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Oh, I almost forgot. Late as it is, I hope you still accept a token of our gratitude. Oh god. I think I had like 300k when, like, last episode. We hope it truly expresses the combined appreciation of both our establishments. I guess that's a thank you combo. Though we may be separate companies, our goals are one and the same. To serve the best fast food in Tokyo. Could have said it better myself, Inosei-san. I mixed up the two already. <laughs> Anytime you want to try the new special, just come to either store and we'll start your order right away. Free food for life? No. Just $30. Or whatever it was. I have probably finished both their menus by now. Right? Oh, random hiccup. Nope. Oh right, because I, I just unlocked the new the new item. The God, it's a nightmare. Call me crazy. I like burgers that fit in your mouth. I know, right? What a lunatic that thinks burgers should be like wider than they are tall. <laughs> Because they're supposed to go in your mouth. What the fuck, man? I don't like these triple double me mega decker nightmare burgers. Although, maybe it's like I'm not even. I don't even want more than one patty in my burger, though, so I'm super not ready for like these burgers that are like, D yo, we have extra buns in our burger. I'm like, dude. Yep, that's that's the wet special burger. I don't, I don't like saying that out loud. I don't. In, in in Japanese, they probably don't register that, but for me, I'm like, I don't want- Please stop calling the burger wet. I don't- I don't- I don't want- to, this is, We're very close to where I should actually go to go do with my giant, giant, about to die problem. Not that- not that much of a problem. But you know, somebody- somebody dented my health bar, and I've gotta, like, get it buffed out. Oopsie. There we go. Excuse me, mister, you've got me all wrong. Hello, homeless people. Don't mind me. I would just like to go down here. Aren't those really heavy? Maybe it's a fake lid. By which I mean, like, the material isn't what it's supposed to be. Obviously, it's still a real lid, because it exists. But it might be a, a, a false in some way to make it lighter so that they can use it. Because a real manhole is a nightmare to move, isn't it? Gonna bother for a checkup? Treatment's gonna cost you 20,000 yen. I am running a business after all. Damn. 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 That's not cheap. Achievement's all finished. Drop by again whenever you feel the need. Damn. So whenever I take permanent health damage, that's like a, that's like fighting Mr. Shakedown for a bit. Like he is here for my shit. All right. That was what two hundred dollars, basically. Like I can afford it, and then some. But I got to be careful. If that happens too much, I'm gonna actually start to really pay for it. And that would be bad news. I'm near this guy now, so I'll go, I'll go take a look. Might as well investigate. Because I want to I wanna max out that... I want to get as much progress as I can in the city as fast as possible so I can take on the, the, the last of the Twisted Trio. And anything else that comes up. Dude, you're everywhere. It's tripping me out. How's that entree coming along? Well, you see... I, uh, what happened? You know that new dish I've been working on? Well, I went and lost the dang recipe. Wait, really? Did you at least save a picture on your smartphone? I'm afraid not. The rule is that our recipes are always handwritten, so no one can copy our menu. And I assume no one else in the restaurant has memorized it. If they did, I wouldn't be here retracing my steps, only to realize that I'm a complete idiot. 
Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Sorry for the outburst, but seriously, I'm stumped. Of course it had to happen during a one-man shift. You mean it's only you on the floor? Yeah, that's why I can't go out and look for it. Oh, what should I do? It's supposed to be a top secret recipe. Damn. Hope no one else finds it. Uh, you got me, son. Hmm? I can't even begin to guess where this is going. Could you maybe do me a favor and find it for me? Huh? But I... Pretty please? I can't leave the store unattended, you see. I'll repay you somehow, I promise. All right. Yes, you're the best. So, where should I start looking? Okay. The route I took to work today began on Tenkaichi Street. I walked all the way to the end and took a right. After, after that, I stopped for a bit at M Side Cafe, bought coffee, chatted a bit, went down to Theater Avenue. Once I passed the batting center, I was pretty much a stone throws away from here. I'm sure it's somewhere on that route. Got it. Then I'll let you know once I find it. Can you give me your contact ID? Okay, will do. I'll text you my commuting route as well. Seems easy enough. So we passed the batting cages, which are right here. Just gotta go do a bit of sleuthing. Hello, that's an item. No, it's not. It's just a glowy spot on the floor. Ah, the alchemy saw the route I took today was... You got a puppy for an avatar. The same message as before. But now it's in my text messages, so now I can review it if I need to. This is our creepy van lot where we keep our creepy vans. Don't read into it. Can't go that way. Um, <laughs> hotel Yagami can't go into Hotel Beauty. He's already too beautiful. I'm out of six, better hit the convenience store. No, my dialogue. My random incidental dialogue only accessible by smoking. Oh right, the batting cage minigames. Was it a batting area or a golf area that one time? There was one where it was just like, yo, can you do a good job and press the right thing at the right time? Pull, show us your sweet tricks, yo. Then there was the nightmare one where it's like, hey, crazy obstacle course, and also there's wind and moving objects, and that was a nightmare. I think it was, I think that was golf. I think the batting was just like a sort of complicated quick time event thing where you had to hold a bunch of joystick things at once and nail it. But then like the golf mini game in Kiwami 2, I think, was just, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you'd have to invest some time into trying to pull that one off. I don't remember if I did or not. I think I might have done it. I think I might have obsessively kept playing it for a while until I had one good run and then I beat the final thing or whatever. But that was like a problem. My god. So he went to M-Side Cafe through Threeter Avenue and Tenkaichi Street? So Tenkaichi Street, then turn right, Theater Avenue. But somewhere around here. Right, I'm supposed to go to Apple Pie. We'll, we'll get to, we'll get to that. It's fine. It's fine. Her schedule seems open. People seem to like the racing episode, so I'll probably do a Grand Prix every now and then over the course of the campaign. Maybe I'll go in every two or three chapters and then do a Grand Prix episode where I just try to where I do that whole Grand Prix and then in an episode again. That seems like a plan, perhaps. It was fun. That was a neat little experience. One of the better made mini games. A whole lot better than the fucking golf, that's for sure. I mean, not golf, sorry. Golf was well made. I meant to say uh, pinball was the weird garbage one where it was 
apparently an outsourced indie game that's on that you can buy on Steam made in Unity. That's you, that this game just awkwardly launches into. And like no one will notice this isn't discrepancy, and the game casually is all like made in Unity in the middle of your game just to make it really clear that it's launching in a, a different executable. And I had to load for like 20 minutes to get back into the game afterwards. Exaggeration, but still. I bet he left it at cafe. Oh, yeah, there it is. And I missed it. Could this be Nasu Nasugawa's top secret recipe? That looks top secret. He'll be happy to have it back, no doubt. I should drop this off at Ak Akaushi Maru. Listen, I try. This, this names. Nothing like playing a Russian game and a uh, Japanese game like in concert with each other to really like fuck with your, like, just make you feel like a lunatic as you try to pronounce a bunch of things that you definitely can't pronounce. Sorry, don't mind me. I keep thinking this is gonna go somewhere. Maybe it will. Maybe I have to wait for a later chapter or something. I should buy as many cigarettes as I can so I can max out those quest progresses. <clears throat> Leave me alone. I don't even need to fight you guys anymore to get hungry. I have the power. Ah! My landlord's following me everywhere. Are we about to set up like a plot point where she's like actually actively stalking me? She's spying on me. I have information that she needs or else. Found it. Here you go. Oh, thank goodness. You came through right in the nick of time. Ah, well that's resolved. Careful not to lose it again now. I won't. At least, I hope not. Anyway, I need to get this to my part, uh, to my part timer and start cooking right away. Your part timer. Get ready to enter a world of deliciousness, Yagami-san. Oh, I've been ready. Is it, is it on the menu now? Yeah, it is. Beef and pork combo. It's very important to max out every menu. This is actually going to be the easiest game to max out the menu in so far, I think. That looks so good! Oh, I want it. Damn you for being a photo and nothing else. Damn it. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is probably the easiest game to max out the menus in. Because I actually have money pouring in at a rate that I'm not prepared for. It's like nuts to me. And now I have the, uh, thing that lets me get infinite eating, so... The hard thing's just gonna be keeping track of which ones to even go to next.